that warm weather will re be returning into the start of your work week. Taking a look at your low temperatures to start out today, though, we were down into the mid 50s. Another fairly chilly start to the day, although very comfortable by my standards. Temperatures in the mid 50s, but we warmed up very quickly given that very dry atmosphere. By about noon, we were into the 80s across most of mid Michigan, and we stayed there through the rest of the afternoon, topping out in the mid 80s. And then as we've gone through the overnight hours, skies have cleared back out. We have the very calm winds and we have been cooling off pretty quickly once again. Here are your current temperatures and most of us are down to the upper 60s now, but you can see Lansing still holding on to that 73 degree mark. Dew points, they are starting to slowly creep up. Right now we are in the mid to upper 50s for your dew points across mid Michigan. Still fairly pleasant, but we'll continue to see those dew points creep up slowly. Of course, nothing getting very oppressive, but it will start to pave the way for a few rain chances once we get towards the end of your work week. Taking a look at your satellite and radar right now, though, no rain to see. In fact, any of that cloud cover, it's clearing out very nicely across the entire state of Michigan. And that's because we still have that area of high pressure sitting in place just to our southwest. That will start to slowly slide off to the southeast, though, as we go through your work week. And that paves the way for an area of low pressure to move in from Canada towards the day on Wednesday and Thursday. And that'll be leading to some rain shower chances as well as a bit of a cool down. So for the start of the work week, we're still very warm with highs into the mid to upper 80s. But then we slowly start to cool as a cold front moves through our area. Then towards next weekend, we see those high temperatures falling down into the 70s. And a few of us, namely Friday and Saturday, may end up being stuck in the upper 60s for your high. So some big changes indeed. So you might want to get out and enjoy these beautiful days while they last. Looking at your future track, we are staying clear through the night tonight again. That's meaning that we are in for a cooler night. Lowest tonight will be back down into the upper 50s, but we see all that sunshine return into your day on Monday. That warms us up just as quickly, and given the little bit warmer start, we end up just a little bit warmer into your day on Monday, with everyone making it into the mid, if not the upper 80s for your highs. Now, Monday afternoon, you may notice a few more clouds moving through the area, mainly further towards the north, where they could end up seeing a few rain showers, but all those rain showers stay out of our area. We end up seeing the sunshine return Monday evening and skies clear out through the night as well. So a lot of sunshine returning to start your day on Tuesday. This time the storms start to fire up to our south and that could give us a little bit more in the way of cloud cover Tuesday afternoon. Still trying to pull a few rain showers into our region, but I really don't think we see, end up seeing any of those rain showers on Tuesday. But the rain shower chances, they do start to increase for your day on Wednesday, more so for Thursday and Friday as that cold front finally moves through our area. So for tonight, we are clear, calm, and that means we are cool. Low temperatures tonight down into the mid to upper 50s. For your day tomorrow, though, we warm up very quickly once again. And given that little bit of a warmer start, we end up just a little warmer. So high temperatures tomorrow in the mid to upper 80s. The west breeze about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Then on Tuesday, we're mostly sunny and high temperatures very similar to that on Monday. Maybe a few more afternoon clouds. But then we start to see those changes. That cold front stars out just right above our area on Wednesday, giving us just a few isolated thunderstorms with a high of 84 degrees. Thursday looks like our best chance of seeing some rain shower with scattered thunderstorms around throughout the day. We'll hold on to those rain shower chances into the start of your day on Friday as well. But look at those temperatures plummet. Friday's high 74 degrees and on Saturday we'll be looking at high temperatures struggling to make it into the low 70s. We could use some rain. It seems like it's been a minute since we've seen some. It's been over a week since we've gotten a measure rainfall so yes we definitely need those rains and it's looking like we get a pretty good chance of rain on Thursday and Friday. Okay sounds good Jim thank you. Tonight's pump patrol